Choosing the right eyewear for mountain biking is essential to protect your eyes from dust, debris, harmful UV rays, and other hazards that you may meet along a mountain bike ride. But don't worry, I'm going to be going through every single thing that you may need to consider when buying some new glasses for mountain biking. Glasses aren't just for making you look cool, they're there to protect your eyes and a good wraparound style like this will give you full coverage and that means you'll get protected from any debris or rocks that might hit up on the trail. It'll also protect you from wind so that your eyes don't water when you're riding and it'll also protect the sides from anything that might get in, perhaps a stick or anything you're passing along the trail. Downhill riders and enduro riders who wear full face helmets tend to wear goggles with that. Not only do they mesh better with a full face helmet, but they offer even more protection than a pair of glasses as you won't get any debris or dust getting into the sides or around the lens itself. Uh, now generally you're going at greater speeds on downhill and enduro racing, so you do need greater coverage but also the greater speeds mean that you're less likely to get fogged up lenses, which is why they can afford to wear goggles rather than glasses. Now glasses often come in different colors or no color at all. And you'll need to be thinking about the kind of conditions you regularly ride in. So if you ride in the woods in low light and low visibility, then you might want something like a clear lens, which will offer you protection from any debris or dust, but it will give you good visibility. Something that is darker is gonna make things harder to see in the woods and lower lights. Darker glasses will be great out in the open when it's really sunny, as it will stop the glare from the sun. It will also offer you protection from harmful UV rays. At the other end of the scale, a clear lens is gonna offer you not much protection from the sun if you're out in the open. If you find yourself moving from sunlight to woods and back to sunlight a lot, you might even wanna consider some reaction lenses that go from dark when it's light uh, to clear when it's dark and they react accordingly. Alternatively, you can save yourself a bit of money and get some interchangeable lenses like I have here. It can be very tempting to just go out and buy the lens color that you like, but do keep an eye on the lens category rating. Now this is usually from zero to four, a zero being clear and a four being really quite dark. Uh, so you want to get the category that is right for you. Again, think about what conditions you will be riding in. Some of these colors actually have a purpose. So for example, the Smith's Chroma Pop technology offers anti-glare and the color also picks out definition on the trail. So it can actually help enhance your vision. During intense rides or hot rides where you get quite sweaty, your glasses can actually fog up, a bit like condensation on a window and you kind of steam up and your vision's obviously impaired from a foggy set of glasses. Now this can be solved from decent ventilation uh, and this can be in a couple of forms. This could be holes in the lens itself it could be a clever frame design or it could just be a well fitted pair of glasses that are not too close to your face so on slower rides wet rides maybe sweatier rides i would go for something that has some venting holes and perhaps an adjustable nose piece to make sure that the lenses sit away from your face However, fast cross-country riders that are always getting wind in the face won't tend to find fogging is a problem, so they may be able to get away with those bigger glasses for better vision and coverage instead. 
If you find that your glasses are fogging up regularly and you don't want to go out and buy a new pair, you can get an aftermarket spray or an anti-fogging serum, which will coat the inside of the lens and reduce the impact of fogging. I tend to buy mountain biking specific glasses rather than generic cycling ones, which can be aimed more at road cycling and mountain biking is a lot tougher on glasses. So I want something that's a little bit more durable and it can go the distance. So for example, the lens needs to be made from a durable material and perhaps scratch resistant as well, as you'll be riding past a lot of branches and bushes that may scratch them, not to mention potentially dropping them on the trail. I also try to get flexible frames like this, which not only make them more durable if they get bent or knocked, but also they make a more comfortable fit, but also a more secure fit. Something that you need more when you're riding in rougher terrain rather than riding on nice smooth tarmac. If you're wondering how expensive glasses get their price tag, well, it's all in the detail. An expensive pair will often come with better quality lenses, with higher UV protection, and perhaps a higher scratch resistance. And maybe they have a curve to them, which offers less distortion for your peripheral vision. And frankly, I think an adjustable nose piece is worth its weight in gold in terms of fit, making sure it meshes with the helmet, and also stopping your lenses from fogging up because they're too close. But if you're that person who just wants a little protection from debris on the trail, perhaps protection from speed tears, or maybe you're just that person who always leaves their glasses in the cafe, then maybe an expensive pair isn't for you. But I do think they make a difference. If you're a regular mountain biker and you always wear glasses, let me know what you're running down in the comments below. Tell me, do you like darker ones or clear ones? Let me know what you like and why you prefer it and help out the GMBN community in the future. Thanks for watching.